and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a anim short animation on how to add this effect into the clip. Um, so let's just get right started then. Okay, so starting out in the default Blender scene, we are going to delete the cube and the lamp and just head over to the compositor, wrong direction, and click Use Nodes. We are not going to use this Render Layer node at all. Just delete that. Next, we're going to quick set up a background image by checking background image, add image, open our movie clip, matching movie length, copying that value, pasting in the end of the on the timetable over here, and also turning opacity up. This is just a reference to see where we are in the clip. Just go render out an image, see that this is set to render result. And for the rest of this, it's just gonna be compositing. A lot of, a lot of that. So we're going to add an image the start a video. Once again, post the number of frames in there. And we are going to then duplicate this twice. I just end, end up with a total of, duplicate until you end up with a total of nine images. Four. All right, so that looks about right. So this first one is gonna have an offset of zero. You're going to do minus three, minus six, and just keep decreasing by three every time it goes down. Okay, fast forwarded a bit there because it was just a lot of repetition. So there we have each one is an interval of three frames off of the one before. Next, we're going to add a mix node. Uh, Keep it as a mix and set the value, set the factor to 0.5. Next, you're going to uh, do not link the top to anything. Leave the top separate, but link these, the next two up as a set, and just keep linking them in that way. Two as a set should end up with four of these. Good. So we're just going to take all four of these, bring them a bit closer together. Come on. Scale Y. All right. Just messing around, making it a bit neater. So we're going to take two more. And just kind of same idea, link them all in in sets of two. And do that one more time, and you should only have one mix node if you did everything correctly. If not, go and check you had the right number of images and did not link this top one to anything yet. We'll get to that later. So we'll put this up here. So what this does is this takes all the images as three frame offsets and then mixes them. So it looks so you get vague after images of everything you've seen before. It creates for a very good dazzled or shell shocked effect. So next we are going to add two more mix nodes. Just link them in like this. And link this image, the one we didn't connect before, with a offset of zero into the main image. Next we're just got to see everything, set that back to zero and this up to one. No, sorry, this to zero. All right, so now I can see it's not actually such a great spot to see it. Come on. Come on. So as you can see, you have just very, very vague after images of everything you do. Sorry, I skipped over there a bit. I bumped my bike and things got a little messy. So you can see the, we have these vague after images of everything we, we've seen already. It's a very neat effect. And also this if this fade will control a bit of a whiteout, the little dazzle from the flashbang. And this will control how much the original clip is used and how much the after images are used. So to animate this effect is very simple. Start with full blur and full white. Set both those as keyframes. Go about another, I don't know, 10 frames up. 
Come on. Eh, more like 20. Set the white to point, uh, point 0.1. It's about good. And just kind of mess around with some values. And then have a kind of a fi final longer fade out here where everything is reset to normal. And there you go. That's really all there is for this one. It's a very simple, short effect you can use to make a really, as to enhance a really cool action scene. So I hope you find a use for it somewhere. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hello. If you liked the last video, I have several more like it on my channel, so you can look at those. And also, you, if you subscribe, I do not have any regular posting schedule for tutorials, but I get to them as much as I can think of some or find the time to do it. Also, if you have any comments for any tutorials you'd like, I would be very welcome to hear them. So please comment and subscribe.